Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in once again. If you're new to my channel, if this is the first time you're passing through, hi, I'm Stacy. This series is called Tacky Tuesday and they're just short EMS cardiology lessons and I try to do them every single week. And this week we're going to be going over septal myocardial infarctions. As always, let's just start with a quick definition. A septal myocardial infarction is a type of heart attack that typically indicates an occlusion of the left anterior descending artery or at the beginning of the branches of the left circumflex. So let's go into what we can look for on a 12 lead. With your septal MIs, your ST elevation is going to be in V1 and V2, and those are your septal leads. But just like I said, a true isolated septal MI is so rare that most of the time these patients end up finding they had a heart Heart attack. It may be that they went in for a physical or maybe they had some kind of other health issue that they went in and the doctor just did a routine EKG and the septal MI was then discovered. But a true symptomatic acute septal MI is, is very, very rare. Some of the causes and risk factors are very similar to basically any other type of heart attack. Advanced age, genetics, hypertension, smoking, diabetes, obesity, a buildup of arterial plaque, constant stress over time, congenital defects, family history, an inactive or unhealthy lifestyle, heart disease, some of the signs and symptoms of a septal MI. Like I said, most of our patients are going to be asymptomatic or they'll get admitted into the ER or the hospital for something completely unrelated. But I will go through the symptoms that they could feel if, if they were symptomatic. Pain or pressure in your back, your jaw, arm, neck, dizziness, syncope, indigestion or heartburn, fatigue, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain or maybe just that the patient is just not feeling like themselves. Let's take a quick look at a septal MI on a 12 lead. So unfortunately I've never seen one of these in person and there's not even a picture of it in our book but as always 12leadtrainer.com coming in clutch provided a very good example of a septal MI. So if you look at V1 and V2 you'll notice that there is ST elevation and with an isolated septal MI those are the leads that you're going to see ST elevation in. And some of our possible EMS treatments this would be in the case of a patient experiencing an, a new septal MI that is symptomatic. We'll get 12 lead, obtain a set of vitals, an IV or a blood draw, if also oxygen, but we want to titrate the oxygen. We don't want to cause these patients hyperoxemia, aspirin, nitroglycerin, and fentanyl. If you haven't already seen my video on Fona, that is one of the ways to remember all the medications that you give to your patient during the course of chest pain or a heart attack. And then fluid is always an option, but make sure you get a medical history and talk to your patient and really understand their complaints. So that's about all I have for you today. I hope you learned something. I definitely did whenever I made this video because it's not something that you see very often, so I learned quite a bit. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!